Hey, thanks for checking out my vlog. So, uh, I spent all day shooting with uh, Ray B, a uh, uh, Fort Wayne rapper, and uh, I had I had fun. I definitely had fun. Uh, I got my name out there to a few more people that uh, that he's actually working with um, uh, that he had in the music video and everything like that. Um, I uh, got my name out there to those people, which. Uh, you know they're also kind of in the same boat as him, and and me, uh, in the respect that uh, they do uh, entertainment uh, music and videos and stuff like that as well. So uh, definitely um, good to it, w it was definitely uh, good for me uh, personally to work with him some, and uh, we're gonna see about possibly doing some more tomorrow. Don't know yet. Gonna depend on when he gets back to me, honestly. Um, and, uh, yeah, I basically spent spent all day shooting today because I actually had the day off from work. So, bonus points. Uh, definitely. So, yeah. And uh, had dinner with the family, which I've been missing out on uh, for about the past month. I normally have uh, dinner with the family, like, once a week. Um, well really twice a week uh, each you know one day one family and one day the other family um, and uh, but I've been missing out on that a lot lately uh, because of work and uh, and uh, today I actually had the day off so I used it to shoot video uh, shoot some video with uh, uh, Ray B and uh, to um, and to have some family time and now I'm just working on finishing up the first two videos and uh, the one for uh, Fort Wayne Sports and Social Club. Uh, they had the dodgeball tournament. I'm going to work on getting that finished up as well as uh, DJ Double K of an early bird. I shot uh, uh, the New Year's Eve party that was there that night and uh, I'm going to work on getting that finished up and then I'm going to dive in head first to uh, Ray B's stuff. And uh, also, I'm um, I'm getting some uh, I'm making some adjustments to uh, my I'm I'm officially declaring uh, the making of Fort Wayne Darkest Hours Brightest Days to be a sci-fi uh, dramedy series because uh, you know it's got the sci-fi after effects to it, but it's also got the dramedy of you know the one-liners that I come up with as well as. Uh, well, no, it's got the comedy of the one-liners that I come up with uh, between, you know, person to person, whatever like that. And it's also got the drama of simply the fact that I'm simply pushing myself to uh, get videos, uh, to do videos for everybody, including myself. So uh, it's a so I'm definitely pulling from I'm pulling from not only what I like, but also what I do in my everyday life. Uh, kind of, sort of, in a way. So, uh, yeah, and uh, and that's basically my inspiration is, you know, for those of you that are looking to get into something like this, um, to pull ideas from your everyday life and decide, okay, what, you know, how can I uh, make it into a story? You know, uh, you know, what what is it that's going to be catching? So, uh, but also, you tell you know, uh, be honest about it, be truthful about it, be truthful to yourself. Don't just do something because of the fact that it's trending now. Uh, do something that is yourself and that will come across as more original and, uh, you know, just more you. You, you definitely want to entertain people, you don't want to be like completely out in left field, but you know, don't just follow trends for the sake of following trends and getting followers. You know, get followers based on the fact that you are doing something that not only you love to do, but also the fact that um, other people enjoy enjoy it too. Uh, yes, that is a bit more of a challenge than just simply following and trying to get any followers. But in the end, it's more worth it um, because you may wind up starting a new trend. Who knows? Uh, whatever like that. So that's my inspiration is to not follow something just for the sake of following something, you know, and, and I'm just
just gonna dive in head first to this now.